am God who heals. Let's look at Psalm 103, 3 and James 4, verse 2. Psalm 103, verse 3 says, Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. James 4, verse 2 says, You want something, but you don't get it. You kill and covet, but you cannot have what you want. You quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. I am a God who heals. I heal broken bodies, broken minds, broken hearts, broken lives, and broken relationships. My very presence has immense healing powers. You cannot live close to me without experiencing some degree of healing. That is true. However, it is also true that you have not because you ask not. You receive the healing that flows naturally from my presence, whether you seek it or not. But there is more, much more, available to those who ask. The first step in receiving healing is to live ever so close to me. The benefits of this practice are too numerous to list. As you grow more and more intimate with me, I reveal my will to you more directly. When the time is right, I prompt you to ask for healing of some brokenness in you or in another person. The healing may be instantaneous, or it may be a process. That is up to me. Your part is to trust me fully and to thank me for the restoration that has begun. I rarely heal all the brokenness in a person's life. Even my servant Paul was told, My grace is sufficient for you, when he sought healing for the thorn in his flesh. Nevertheless, much healing is available to those whose lives are intimately interwoven with mine. Ask and you will receive. I'm going to go back and read that first line. It is a great list. I am a God who heals. I heal broken bodies, broken minds, broken hearts, broken lives, and broken relationships. My very presence has immense healing powers. And he can heal all of those. Although I know sometimes he does choose to make us wait for the healing and sometimes he does not heal. But if you are close to him and you are in his presence, you are going to have better relationships, better communication, just better times with people and be able to minister even better. So I think the key to all of that is just to be in his presence. So my friends, if you have not been in his presence lately, just stop what you're doing. You can just lift your hands, close your eyes. You can sing, you can pray, you can do anything like that just to be in his presence. And it's important sometimes just to sit quietly. I sit like this a lot. Just quietly, hands up, ready to receive whatever he has. So I hope today you take some time to be in his presence. He's waiting for you to come. And when you are there, you will receive healing of many different kinds. Have a great day just being in his presence. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, NancyJoyToYou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.